As temperatures start to cool, we spend more time inside, and we may not always be alone. You may be sharing your home with an unwanted, dangerous guest, the hobo spider. They're knowing one thing, they're not going to survive the winter. So they're trying to move indoors, they're trying to get to places where they're going to be over to overwinter. They do end up in homes, especially this time of year when you still might leave something open during the day. You may think that your home is impervious to the hobo spider, but then you'd be wrong. So as a homeowner, you should always check areas such as baseboards or corners of the wall or areas where the ceiling and the wall meet. And a lot of times you can find signs such as the web, which in the hobo spider's case is shaped like a funnel. You can also look for these webs in your lawn outside of your home. Now why would you worry about a simple little spider? The hobo isn't your grandma's daddy long legs. You know, they have a, their bite has some necrotizing in them. And as you know, and we've discussed in the past, they can, they can create a pretty vicious wound. Russell knows that I know because last summer I was bit by a hobo spider, and it wasn't pleasant. If you are bit, you should seek immediate medical treatment. So I would certainly seek health care if it looks like, you know, the margins of the bite are starting to change, get red, get not look like your normal skin. In Kalispell, I'm Dax Van Fossen for Montana's News Station.